Finally, got the replacement. Hey guys, Zero Eleven here, and today we got a retail tin of 0809 Upper Deck Series One, 0809 Series One. I have a bit of history with 0809 Series One. I had the set, and I had it in one of these tins. So when I completed the set back in 09 or 08 or whenever I completed the set, I thought it was a good idea to like put them in baggies, put it in the tin, and seal it up with tape. Later on, I did sell it, I did open it up, and well, it ruined the tin. <laughs> I still have the tin. It's really freaking greasy. So I pretty much just labeled Young Gun Set here and threw it in a drawer and had it like that for like five, six years until I decided to open it, but I completely annihilated the tin. So today, got a new one to replace the greasy old one. But yeah, I had the whole set in here, including Luke Shen. That was the last one I needed was Luke Shen. So many great players you can get, including the players in the back, Drew, Petrangelo, Voracek, Blake Wheeler, James The Real Deal Neal, this stuff is pretty hot right now, Derek Broussard, TJ Oshie, Wayne Simmons, Patrick Hornquist, Kyle Turris, there's even more NHLers than that, and of course, Steven Stamkos. So yeah, tins are different, tins have changed. This is much bigger than your standard tin nowadays. I'll whip out a more recent tin, look at that. Uh, the newer ones are a little bit thicker there, but yeah, these tins are way bigger and you get less packs. Back then, you got seven packs plus one bonus pack. So you only get eight packs. Young guns are one in four, so expect two young guns from here. Game jerseys are one in 24, so pretty much every three tins. Foil inserts one in four. Yeah, let's open this up. 0809, series one, excited to finally be opening another tin. It's been probably 10 years plus. So yeah, let's open it up. <laughs> this tin costed 30 probably could have got it a little bit cheaper but eh it's fine the tin's pretty darn collectible i like this tin so yeah mark andre flurry they won the cup that year all right let's open it up you do get an oversized card that still hasn't changed so we got an oversized winter classic card from the first winter classic in 08 of jason pominville i don't remember if he increased any populations in that winter classic game so it just talks about the, the Sabres versus Penguins there. But yeah, there we go. Jason Pominville, oversized card. And the oversized packaging is like bigger than before. Do I have any around me? Yeah, the packaging is a little bigger than before. So so that has changed as well. But yeah. Oh, look at that. Let's take the packs out. These packs are awesome. Sid's also on 1920, so that's pretty cool. Let's take these out. And let's pull one of the players I mentioned. Any one of those and I'll be happy with. So yeah. Eight packs, oh, 0809, Upper Deck Series 1. Got the set. Had the set. Had the set for Series 2. Series 2 is way worse. Series 2 had like Ben Bishop, Semyon Varlamov, and Corey Schneider were the best ones. And Nikolai Kuhlman. Those were the best ones. So Series 1 had everything and Series 2 had not so much. So yeah, let's open up. And Justin Pogge in Series 2. Can't forget Justin Pogge. But yeah, let's open up 0809, Series 1, Tin. And, um... That's right, the inserts are on the back. The inserts are on the back. I don't think young ones are on the back though. Got Mike Fisher, I know they are in 0708. Got Mike Fisher. Andre Kostitsin, anybody wondering what the uh, 0809 cards look like? Pretty simplistic design there. Got Pavel Kubina. Eric Johnson, the first overall pick from 06. Got Woltek Wolski. Got Curry Lettinen on the Thrashers there. Got Jonathan Tate's second year card. And you got Hatrick Heroes, Alex Ovechkin. March 3rd, 2008 versus the Boston Bruins. There we go, Alex Ovechkin. That's cool. Cool insert. Next pack up. And I guess I'll be careful not to uh, show it from behind, but I'm pretty sure young guys are still in the middle. And these cards really aren't sticking, which is nice. You got David Legwand, Peter Sikora, Martin Hansel. Got Sidney Crosby, Hockey Heroes. The whole Hockey Heroes thing stuck around for quite a while. I'm glad it's gone. You can get the header cards. There was a nice painting card of Sid. I believe it was this year that you get it. But there you go. Hockey Heroes, Sidney Crosby. That one's HH8. Corey Sarich. Ryan Geslav. Robert Lang. And Miko Koivu. Okay, continuing on here. Jeez, it's kind of a pain to open it without looking at the back, even though I'm pretty sure the young guns are in the middle, so it doesn't really matter. Speaking of young guns, you got Brendan Witt, 
Uh, we got Manny Legacy, Ryan Suter, uh, Vladimir Mahalik. Just a big freaking defenseman, if I'm right. If I remember right. Jeez. A hulking defenseman in the Zdeno Chara mold. Mahalik, a 6'9", 220, also boasts a heavy and accurate slap shot like the more famous Slovak giant. Okay, Vladimir Mahalik. Not a great one, but I'll take it. And by the way, these Young Guns designs, between 07, 08, and 910, are my favorite Young Guns designs. These are fantastic. I love these. 708 is probably my favorite because that's when I really started collecting. And 0809 is my first set, so I really do like these. 910 is really nice as well. But yeah, there we go. Vladimir Mahalik. Got Nick Lidstrom on the bench there. Got Thomas Kopecky. You got Zetterberg, Holmstrom. Huh. Got Martin Havlat, Dustin Brown, and Spinorama, Pierre Marc Bouchard. All right, Mahalik. First young guys. Not good. I'm just going to open these normally. Okay. Curtis Sanford. Jordan Stahl, still on the pens there. Jason Spezza, still on the sends there. Marty Broder, that's right around the Sean Avery era. <laughs> Colby Armstrong. Colby Armstrong on the Thrashers. Jerome McGinley. Stephen Weiss. And Ray Whitney. Already halfway through. I wish these were 12 packs like the newer ones, but... It is what it is. For whatever reason, there's always so much 0809 floating around. I don't know if they made a ton of this or what. Lee Stepniak, Trent Hunter, Henrik Lundqvist, Joe Thornton, Phil the Thrill. We got some active players back to back to back. Rostislav Olesh. You got Oli Christian Tolofsson. And Chris Letang, also at the Winter Classic there. Winter Classic highlights. All right, final three packs. Come on, half decent young guns. It's actually a pretty good chance of getting half decent young guns in here, but yeah. All right, Devin Setaguchi, Boyd Gordon, Johnny Oduya, Shea Weber, Nick Schultz, Manny Fernandez on the Bruins there, Michael Pekka, and Adam Burrish. Final two packs. Expecting a young guns. Um, Let's open this one. I feel like that one there is the Young Guns. So yeah. Okay, let's see if I'm right or not. We got Thomas Caberlet. Alex Steen. Ilya Brizgalov, afraid of bears. Tyler Kennedy. Andrew Cogliano. Jared Bull. Toby Enstrom. Rod Brindamore. All right, final pack. Should be a Young Guns hot pack. So I might as well slow roll it because it's a Young Guns hot pack. Might as well. Okay. All right. All right. First card, Brendan Morrow. Next card, Damon Lankow. Oh, Robert Nielsen. Well, it's orange. Could be like a Lucas Spies. There's a net there. Uh, I don't think it's that guy. It might be. Um, Matthew Lombardi, I don't think it is though. Got Michael DiPietro, he's till 2029, he's getting paid. Yeah. Uh, oh geez. Paul Ranger. You got Paul Correa. And, ooh, who is that? It's not Spies. Is that Jared Ross? Who, Jared Ross? I forget, it's been a while. Yeah, Jared Ross. Jared Ross, young guy. So that's a rough 10, but hey, I don't mind. Get the tin back. That's probably the main thing for this break. But yeah, guys, there's a tin of 0809 Series 1, and everything's sticking to this. But I just noticed on the, my old one here, it says Young Guns 09. So, so yeah, glad to replace this greasy old one with the new one. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.